What's up, FOA squad? I'm Anthony, and welcome to our channel, Life with Anthony. I hope you guys are doing well out there. It is 3 a.m. in the morning, and our journey to Tokyo, Japan begins now. All right, guys, I am all checked in. It's around 4.50 a.m. My flight takes off at 6 a.m. Um, it's about a, almost a three hour flight to Minnesota. Then I have, I believe, a two hour, two and a half hour layover in Minnesota before I get on my last flight, which is to Tokyo. Ah. I didn't get the best sleep last night as I I kind of knew I wasn't, but I got plenty of time to sleep on these planes. So, oh, by the way, I was able to change my seat when I checked in yesterday around 6.30 a.m. I did change both of my seats for both flights. Uh, I got a window seat on the uh, flight to Japan because it's only two seats. It's like, two rows on the left and the right, uh, only two seats, and then it's four seats in the middle all the way down. So I figured, okay. And based on that little uh, seating chart, there was a lot of seats available. So hopefully no one will sit beside me and I will have that seat to myself. All right, I'll check in with you guys a little later. Ooh, I tell you guys, one of my favorite things to do while waiting to board my plane is the eye candy. There's nothing like airport eye candy. <laughs> I mean, you get all sorts of <laughs> eye candy. <laughs> Early in the morning, and I'm getting my fill of eye candy. Oh yeah. <laughs> Gotta do something to entertain myself while, this, <laughs> while I'm waiting for this flight. All righty. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm about to get on this flight. My seat is 26D. Ah, I don't have nobody here to greet you. All right, guys, I just now got off my flight from Minnesota. My gate is G. I got to go find uh, gates G. Um, but I'm going to find something to eat first before I do that. So let me find something to eat because I am a little bit hungry. Oh, my goodness. All right, I think all the food is up this way. So let me see what I can find to eat.
Oh my lord, y'all, this is a little seat. <laughs> I don't have no space. <laughs> I hope nobody knows sit next to me. Then I can stretch out a little bit. Oh my goodness. This seat is small. <laughs> uh, wash your fingers, nobody sit next to me so I can stretch out Good morning, out everyone. Welcome bit. on board Delta Airlines 121. This is the furthest I can move this uh, camera back. I hope they feed us soon, y'all, because I am hungry. I did not get anything at uh, Minnesota. So, your boy is starving right about now. <laughs> All right, let's get this show on the road.
Okay, FOA, I made it to the hotel, as you guys can see. Uh, right now, I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour of the room, and then I'll talk to you guys a little bit about my journey from the airport to getting to this hotel. All right, guys, I'm gonna give you a quick look at my room. I've already gone in, so let's go in. This is my room for the next week. Over to the right, you see the sink area. And over here to my left is the bathroom. Pretty decent. shower has like a shower wand instead of your what I'm used to seeing but it looks really nice I think this is your air conditioner slash heater possibly I don't know I see some vents and everything up in the ceiling so it's probably central air. And then moving in, you have, I have two, they look like twin size beds to me. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Television, which I probably never use. And then we have a desk with two chairs and a little mini fridge little coffee station and this is pretty much it yep pretty much it all right guys once i got off of the plane at the airport in japan um i had to go through customs their process was really really simple really cut and dry they were really really efficient at the movement of lines. They had a lot of uh, workers there, so I wasn't in any particular line a really long time, so they move you along pretty quickly, which I was very happy to see. Um, I had to fill out two forms uh, at different times during the whole process. Um, once I got all of that done and got my bag, which by the way, my bag, my brand new bag was damaged, and it has a it's like the zipper part is damaged where my laptop is. But anywho, got my bag and um, I needed to do a couple of things at the airport. I told you guys I wanted to get um, some smaller bills. So I went to Currency Exchange and they did not uh, give me any smaller bills. Uh, she said that they don't do that. It's just for exchanging money over US money or whatever country money you have over to um, Japanese yen. So I stood in line there for nothing. And then the second thing I wanted to do was to get a, um, a train ticket because I got to talking to one of the uh, flight attendants on the fl uh, plane and she recommended a few places that she thinks that I should go and see. And she also told me about uh, a subway pass that I should purchase and I can purchase it at the airport. So, mm, excuse me. And then I should purchase it, at, purchase it at the airport. All right, so I went to look for this um, card and needless to say, they have so many little like train and monorail kiosk and everything so i asked multiple people of uh, which uh, card because she told me it was a, a red card so that's what i was explaining to them when i was trying to figure out where to go to get this red card and um they sent me to this person and basically when it was all said and done after all i was explaining to her 
after all was said and done, she ended up selling me a debit card. And she said that I can use this debit card anywhere for like food, uh, shopping, any of the transportation modes. So I was like, okay, that's fine. Cause I was explaining to her that I wanted a seven day card and, and she was like, we don't have a seven day card. We have, you know, this 28 month card. And I was like, well, I don't need that long. And anywho, like I said, I bought a debit card for 1500 yen. So I have, well, it's less on there now cause I caught the train from the airport to this hotel. And that was a 45 minute ride. And everything of course was being spoken in um, Japanese. So, but the good thing is when I was at the uh, airport, I, I asked like multiple people, multiple questions at the airport. One guy told me, he said, well, let's pull it up on your Google Maps. So I pulled it up and it showed me the whole train schedule, all the stops that were going to be made before I get to the hotel and everything. So it was very, very easy to follow. Now I did while I was on the train, I missed a couple stops and I kind of lost where I was <laughs> at the train stations. So this uh, young lady was standing next to me. So I asked her, I said, you know, where are we? What station? And she, um, she pulled it up on her phone and she told me where, where we was and what was coming up and got me back on track. And so after that, um, I got off the train and also in the directions, it says exit B7. So after I got off the train and went up the stairs and everything, I had to find exit B7, which I did not know. I saw B2 and B like 11, I think it was. So I asked the um, train worker there and he said, you know, just keep straight, you'll see B7. And look, I tried to walk through without hitting my tag again. And then I wonder about that, uh, did I get charged again? Cause I had to tap to get out. I think I had to do it twice, if I'm not mistaken. I wonder if I'm being charged twice, I don't know. But anywho, I made it out of the train station. And um, like I said, that was a 45 minute ride. I was exhausted. I stood up half of that ride because the train was uh, crowded, but then I got a seat. Then I got off the train and then I said, okay, which direction do I go? You know how, you know, it'll tell you to stop to get off, but it won't tell you what direction to go to get to. It was like eight, it was an eight minute walk. So, I figured out, because I don't use these types of things on my phone, you know, especially a walking direction where they, they telling you where to go where you walking. So I did the walking one and followed what, the, what my phone was saying. And I got to the, air, uh, the hotel pretty easy. It was, it was like a, a six or seven minute walk. But I'm here, <sighs> I'm checked in. I finally get to decompress and relax because I have to figure out how I'm going to get to Disney, which trains will get me to Disneyland tomorrow. I'm still peed off about myself for making that, buying that ticket so soon. I should have bought it for like Friday or even Sunday or something. But nonetheless, it's over and done with. So I got plenty of time because at the time I'm making this video for you guys, it's only about six o'clock. So six o'clock in the evening. So I am going to find myself something to eat. I'm going to take a little quick little walk around um, this little area where I am. I'm not in Tokyo Station now. I think Tokyo Station is about a 10 minute walk from this hotel, but I will be going to Tokyo Station because I want to. And it's a lot, a lot of things to see and restaurants and shops and all of that good stuff to see. So I will make a day for that. But for now, I'm here, like I said, I'm just going to ready to take a few minutes, maybe an hour, relax a little bit, and then I'm going to go and walk around and find me something quickly to eat. But that's it, guys. I made it to Japan. Yeah. <laughs>
And you know what? It wasn't it wasn't overwhelming. When I got off the plane, I thought I was gonna be overwhelmed and didn't know where to go and this, that, and the other. It was really simple, you know, and for the most part, I just followed the people. You know, I wasn't the first one, so people wasn't following me. And I just followed the people and, and did what the people did that was on my plane, on, the, on my plane, on the same plane that I was on, you know, and it worked out pretty good and I got through it nice and it was, it was pretty easy though. Cause I had in my mind that I was going to take my time. I was like, okay, you're in no rush. It's like early here. Cause we got off the plane like 3.30 or something like that. So I said, I had the time. I'm just going to take my time and just, you know, figure it out. And then, you know, ask people, ask people. I asked like probably six people at the airport. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, guys, that's going to be a wrap for today's video. As always, thanks for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys. You know that. And I'll see you guys the next time.